Hey, what's up everyone? So, play Alter Tech back again with a new video. In today's video, we have a camera comparison test with the Samsung Galaxy S21 and the OnePlus 9 Pro. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go ahead and get down to business. The first photo will be taken with the OnePlus 9 Pro and the second photo will be taken with the Samsung Galaxy S21. If you guys ever get confused as to which is the which, pay attention to the watermark. I have the watermark on the OnePlus 9 Pro. As for the S21, there is no watermark. So let's go ahead and get down to it. So this is a photo of a flower. And I want you guys to pay attention to the colors because both photos, well actually all photos in this comparison test was shot with auto mode. And... The autofocus for both of these cameras, they locked into different parts of the flower. So for this one, you got the flower and you got the little leaf up on next to it on the bottom left. And as for the colors, it looked a little bit more, you know, true to the life. Now for the S21, you have a little bit more vibrancy on the leaves and on the flower itself. Not too much, but subtle. So let's go ahead and uh, check out this photo. Now this one is where the contrast gets kicked in a little bit too high. Uh, pay attention to the water um, in the darker areas it's just you know pitch black because the contrast is just way too high as for the colors very natural as for the hdr it does a nice job um, you know in the bushes you know aside from where the contrast just you know kills the shadows it does a very nice job now let's go ahead into the s21 and this photo it's what i call instagram ready um, for most part, the S21 has a nice algorithm, which makes photos, you know, it senses that there's a sunset and it'll make the adjustments to make the photo actually pop or, you know, look pleasable. So what do I mean by that? The sky itself, you know, it's going to look very, very vibrant. Um, you know, the, the sun is going to, you know, glow a lot more, look a little bit more, you know, powerful. And, um, as for the contrast, it has a very nice balanced contrast. Um, color's not true to life, but it's Instagram ready. But let's go ahead and try the telephoto lens. On the OnePlus 9 Pro, you have a 3.3 times optical lens, which in some cases the phone will use, or in other cases it will use the main sensor and just crop in, depending on which photo actually looks better. Now, you cannot choose between both of these options. The phone will actually choose it for you. Now, it's not stated on OnePlus.com, but it's something I've just picked up on while using the camera system. Now, as for this photo, it's the same story. You know, true-to-life colors, high contrast. Let's go to the S21, and this seems to be, you know, same story as well. Vibrant colors, um, contrast, well-balanced, and let's go zoom in even closer. Now, for the OnePlus 9 Pro, it seems a bit muddy. I'm not exactly sure what went on here. I guess this was taken with the telephoto lens or maybe the, the main sensor. I have no idea, but for the S21, everything just looks to be a little bit more clearer. There's a lot more clarity in this, you know, once you crop it. So um, overall, I'll have to give this point to the S21. Now, what about the ultra wide camera? The S21, they have this feature called the freeform lens. And basically what this is, it's you know a minimal distortion when it comes to using the ultra wide camera. So for example, let's go to the S21. And if you guys can see on the, on the corners, everything seems to be a little bit more, there's a lot more curvature on the photo. So there's also a lot more, you know, there's a wider field of view on the S21 as well. So if you guys want a more wider shot, go with the S21. If you guys are into photography and you guys want a more, a cleaner, you know, look without any distortion or minimal distortion, I would go with the OnePlus 9 Pro. And again, it's the same story, you know, vibrant colors on the S21, high contrast on the OnePlus 9 Pro, but true colors on the OnePlus 9 Pro as well. But here, let's go ahead and zoom in. As you guys can see, on the bricks there is you know there isn't too much detail on the oneplus 9 pro but on the s21 you guys can see a lot more detail on the bricks i'm not exactly sure why that is but that's what we got and if you were to zoom in on the branches on the oneplus 9 pro that to me um, based on what i'm seeing there seems to be a little bit more detail on the you know the branches All right, so let's go ahead and check out another area of this photo at 400%. And, um, once again, for dark areas, it's going to be completely crushed with the OnePlus 9 Pro. And as for the S21, you know, we have a well-balanced contrast. Now I'm going to give you guys a stable mode test on both devices. You guys, you know, be the judge for yourselves. Personally, I do like the exposure on the OnePlus 9 Pro.
Okay, so this is another test. This is with the main sensor. So with the OnePlus 9 Pro, everything came out pretty good. No complaints whatsoever. I do like the colors as well. As for the S21, you have more vibrancy. So let's go ahead and zoom in even closer and see what we get. So we're cropping in and for you guys can see that, you know, with the lawn, you know, there is some, you know, detail to it. And uh, even as for the skyline, you guys could probably, you know, make it out as well. But as for the S21, it just gets to be a little bit more on the softer side. And the grass seems to be more on the muddier side. So as you guys can see, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's take your pick. Sometimes the 9 Pro takes better photos. Sometimes the S21 takes better photos. But it all comes down to you as a photographer. If you're taking photos and you notice, you know, you're not getting the right shot, you got to go ahead and retake it. But for most of these consumers, they want to have that, you know, that pixel experience in which they, you know, just point the phone, press the button, and they get the photo that they want on the first try. So this photo, oh my God, this is where the um, the contrast just pretty much kills it on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Colors, they, this seems to be very realistic when it comes to the red roof of this uh, gazebo. As for the S21 Ultra, you know, the shadows are lifted up, and I would actually prefer this photo, especially on social media. Now this one, this is just, you know, again, based on preference, this is either, you know, do you want true colors or do you want the vibrancy of the S21, like in this shot right over here. Now for this photo, you know, both of them came out pretty good, but it just comes down to preference, true colors versus vibrancy. This is the OnePlus 9 Pro and this is the Samsung Galaxy S21. And uh, this shot, this is a nice HDR test. I think both of them did pretty good. Um, this is a, a more true to life shot and as for the S21, I, I love how this looks, you know, the sunset, the colors, you know, sometimes you'll get some sunsets in which it actually looks just like this. But, um, again, this is like a, I want to, I don't want to say an artificial sunset, but the colors itself, it's, you know, altered to make the sunset seem a little bit more, you know, attractive. Now the S21 identified this was a sunset and they made the appropriate, you know, color changes. So that's the one of the perks of having a Samsung S21. It has an AI camera system. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But again, do you want the true to life colors? Um, you know, OnePlus 9 Pro. And over here again, once again, the contrast just crushes the shadows. And as for the S21, you know, a little bit more on the, you know, a little bit more on the softer side of things. Just a little bit. Now, as for this photo, um, once again, you had the OnePlus 9 Pro, switching off to the S21, same story. You know, it's all up to colors. You know, let me know down below which one you guys prefer. And cropping in, you do have some over sharpening on the OnePlus 9 Pro, which, you know, once in a while you'll notice it. And as for the S21, everything seems to be a little bit more, you know, well balanced. Overall, very impressive. Now, with the sun going down and, you know, things getting a little bit more darker, this is the OnePlus 9 Pro and switching to the S21. I'll have to give it to the, you know, again, for the more realistic photo, OnePlus 9 Pro. Overall, the detail on both of these photos are pretty damn good, as well as the HDR on both photos. Now, this one, you know, once again, you know, OnePlus 9 Pro. And let's go to the Galaxy S21. Again, you know, a little bit more brighter. Um, as you guys can see on the roof, underneath, on the roof of this gazebo, you could actually make out, you know, what's underneath it. But as for the OnePlus 9 Pro, it's just pretty much darkened out due to the high contrast. And if you were to crop in to, you know, visually inspect the details, here is the OnePlus 9 Pro. And as for the S21, yeah, there you go. It's a little bit more on these. Now it's a little bit more on the softer side. But the, the brighter image, you know, it might, you know, convince people to choose this over the OnePlus 9 Pro. And here we have another flower shot. I think both of them actually locked down at the same exact point. And again, true colors on the Hasselblad, OnePlus 9 Pro. And on the Galaxy S21, you know, a little bit more vibrancy. The color isn't as accurate. But once again, you know, beautiful shot. You have nice bokeh on both of these photos. You know, take your pick. The leaves on the S21, it's a little bit more greener. But like I said, take your pick. But what about the moon shot? OnePlus was, you know, bragging about the moon. They had these moon commercials. This is what I could get with the at OnePlus 9 Pro in low light conditions on a full moon, on a cloudy day. And as this is at 30 times zoom. And as for the Galaxy S21, which does not even have a periscope lens, you do get a much cleaner image. 
So, um, you know, OnePlus, you know, I don't know. Sometimes, I don't know. Okay, so this is another nice shot with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Everything looks pretty good. Same story. Galaxy S21, again, brighter um, with the shadows. And you would have to use Pro Mode in a scenario like this. As for the Galaxy S21, you know, brighter shadows. And the colors seems to be a little bit more brighter as well. More vibrancy. And this is with the ultra wide again the sun is going down so it's darker and here's the oneplus 9 pro and with the galaxy s21 everything seems to be you know same story now for the skyline zooming in oneplus 9 pro does a nice job and to me i think it does a better job than the s21 for the s21 it was just a little more darker so as the sun goes down, I'm favoring the pictures on the OnePlus 9 Pro, as you guys will continue to see. Now, this is a nice shot, and I decided to use auto mode by, I turned on the exposure all the way down. And as for this shot, it's all about the sunset. So with this, I shot both of these in auto mode by turning the exposure all the way down. As for the sunset on the Hasselblad, it's more true to life. As for the Galaxy S21, you have, you know, a little bit more of a vibrant purplish sky. Now, for this shot, this is where I use night mode. It, it was really quite dark, so I felt the need to use night mode. And for the, you know, S21, it noticed it was a night shot. So they gave me a more true-to-life photo, if that makes any sense. But I, I used night mode, and for night mode, I would like to actually brighten everything up. So I would have to give the win to the OnePlus 9 Pro for exposing everything correctly. And um, cropping in, you guys could, you know, ha see a lot more on the, you know, OnePlus 9 Pro opposed to the Galaxy S21 where things look a little bit more muddy. Now, once again, with the night sight on the OnePlus 9 Pro, everything's looking pretty good. You have the, that's actually the moon. So it's, it's at night. You could make out the... The rails on this you know little you know i don't know what to call it this boat launch and as for the boat itself you could make out some of the words on the boat as well so nightscape actually it's pretty impressive as for the s21 yeah you know it does a nice job as well but they also do a lot of you know over sharpening i've noticed when it comes to you know low light conditions the hdr you know i actually like how this actually looks the moon isn't overexposed like on the OnePlus 9 Pro. But like I said, if you guys don't like the photo coming out from the 9 Pro, if it, do, if it doesn't, you know, give you what you want, you can always use Pro Mode. Now let's go ahead and crop in. I'm um, cropping in. I guess you guys could, you know, be the judge for yourselves. Let me know what you guys think. You know, this is the OnePlus 9 Pro and this is the Galaxy S21. So this is another shot with the OnePlus 9 Pro, and you do have some lights, it's at nighttime. And here it is with the, now the lights seem to be a little bit more washed out, and I do prefer how they look on the OnePlus 9 Pro. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. Now, this is another night shot, and I think it the OnePlus 9 Pro does a better job than the S21, but the S21 does a better job when it comes to the HDR. You guys can actually make out the windows of that bright building up in the middle. So anyways, guys, this is a camera compression test between the OnePlus 9 Pro and Galaxy S21. Let me know which one you guys prefer down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please hit me up down below. And please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. And please subscribe for some more OnePlus content. This is the OnePlus guy signing out. Hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Take care. Peace.